welcome to Holy Cross High School where your Crusaders will be taking on the Blue Ridge Red Raiders. This game should be exciting. Mike Luciani here with Sean Bickings. We're gonna bring you the action tonight. Holy Cross only giving up about 46 points per game. However, Blue Ridge is averaging a scorching 76 points per game in the three games that they have played. Holy Cross is 2-2. Two two. Leading scorer is Gabe Gonzalez. Gabe had just a blistering night the other night, scoring 30 points against Pittston area. Sean, I was not there at that game. How did Gabe look? Good, I mean, hitting three, I mean, he's falling off of the they're going to need it because this team comes out. They are fast moving. That is a lot of points, 76 points per game. Their highest was 81, so they're just floating around that 76. So it's going to be an exciting game tonight. We're going to have to see Holy Cross defense takes over here and limits Blue Ridge, or Blue Ridge is going to make that Holy Cross get up and down the floor. Now, They're going to have to. We'll see how it goes tonight. Game. We're going to see who comes out on top on this one. Holy Cross's defense, which is very stingy. Blue Ridge's offense, they are senior heavy Blue Ridge. I see three of them that I can make out. We'll see how this goes. Tierney jumping for Holy Cross. He gets up and Blue Ridge got the ball. Blue Ridge up top, directing traffic, playing a little slow from what I've seen before. And there's the first two of the game, Blue Ridge. Oh, 
Nice play, great pass. Too strong on the shot, gets the rebound back. Back up and short, Gabe with the rebound. And stepped out of bounds with the Blue Ridge ball. Okay, sorry about that. We had a little bit of difficulty with the stand. We go Blue Ridge. Up top. Very noisy here tonight. Blue Ridge slowing it down just a little bit. Their pace is usually 20 points per quarter. So at this pace, we're already two minutes into it. Logan Tierney up and off the glass. Two points for Tierney. And he is a beast underneath that block. Blue is stuck underneath and he's gonna step on the line, wipe off. We're gonna have a Crusader ball. Good defense there. A little bit of the fashion police there for the official. We get back to action. Holy Cross moving around, shooting a three. Short. Rebound Blue Ridge. Brings it down the floor. But it didn't seem like they start running at all right here. They're slowing everything down. We got a carry. Crusader ball. So as of right now, it looks like Crusader defense is starting to win this out. And if they can play at their pace, it's going to favor that ball right into the hand. Oh, nice move up and under for two. Moran with that beautiful scoop. Yeah, that was, he split three guys. Holy Cross and a man defense split up and over. We're going to have a foul. First foul of the game. And it is going to be on. And it's going to be on Moran. His first team first, 515 left first quarter. 4-2 Crusaders, and here's the first. Good. Now I saw that Blue Ridge play last year in a couple of their division games. This number five is very, very good. He, he's very smart with the ball. He takes care of it. He knows where to go. He's probably the cap, one of the captains on this team, and he's a senior, so. Misses the second. Tierney gets it up quick. up top. Aiden Hosey with it. Gets it to Tierney. Tierney with a 15-footer. Good! Yeah, that was, that was real nice. Right on the elbow there for two. Tierney with four already. Three short. Moran with the rebound. Here goes Hayden. Three, miss. Here they go, yep, they start getting on. That's a nice move. Two strung off the back of the iron, rebound Holy Cross. Tierney for three. Long off the back of the iron, rebound Crusaders. That's what, three offensive rebounds already? Hosey directing traffic, gets the five count, starts dribbling, gets a new five count, gets around, jumper, short. Here comes, here we come right to the rack. He trips on his own feet, loose ball, rebound, no, too strong off the back of the glass and gets it back up and in. Six five, timeout, Blue Ridge. Yep. Excuse me. I don't know 
you want to sit up here, it'll be easier to hear. What's number five's name? Hunter? Connor. Oh, Connor. Okay. Connor Cranich. He's a junior. A junior? Dylan's a junior. So are there any seniors here? 33's a senior, 11's a senior. Okay. Um, I think the rest are juniors. Okay, all right. I believe. Okay. And Connor's your leading scorer, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I saw when I was doing research. So actually, Sean, number five, his name's Connor. He's only a junior. So Blue Ridge is going to have some talent coming up back next year. And me not moving. Here's Hayden. And, or that's Caden Carr. And here comes the fast break. And he's out of bounds going down the floor. They get out of one. They do. They're fast. A little bit of a press here. Some pressure by Blue Ridge. 6'5", 321 left. And this is way below Blue Ridge's average that I saw against the last three games that they've had. They easily averaged 20 points a quarter. Right now they have five. Three rimmed out. Tierney with another offensive board. Logan with six. That's been the, that's been the advantage so, the difference so far is these offensive rebounds. And slowing down, they're getting back on on transition and making Blue Ridge have very difficult shots underneath the rim. And now he got to walk. He went down. For those that are wondering why they didn't call it, didn't have the ball when he went down, but he was getting up. He had the ball. There's the travel. You have to try to keep your dribble as you come up. Tierney, so far the big man, leading scorer six. Yeah, he's playing, he's starting off on that high point. And there's a three by Caden Carr. So Logan's starting up on the high post and working his way down, so he's fighting low. Again, that draws out the other players, so that's where the offensive Yep. Nice shot. Blue Ridge for two, 11-7. Underneath Gabe, very nice move. Oh, too strong, off the back of the rim. And one of the advantages for Holy Cross here is Gabe, who is their big guy, they're their biggest man. He could play defense all the way out in the top of the key, so they don't have to worry about anybody beating Gabe or anybody playing defense. And we're gonna have an offensive. It was good defense. It was more. It was better defense than it was lower in the shoulder. That he really, he really made sure that he got in there and beat him to the spot. Great call. Yeah, they're they're slowing it down here. There's Logan again, all the way up on the elbow there, not having to worry about somebody getting beat. There, we're gonna have a travel. Yeah, I don't think they're used to this type of pace and this type of pressure and gameplay, so we'll have to see if they make any adjustments. Yeah, you don't need Matt getting his quick second here in the first quarter. Bozy going up, strong. Oh, great defense. Moran for three. Short, we're gonna have a push, we're going down. Foul on, that's Matt, right? Matt Lyons. Matt Lyons. 
team's third years. 36 seconds in the first quarter. Blue Ridge doesn't have a foul yet. So they're playing really clean. And that goes to experience. I think most of these kids played most of last season three. In and out. Moran with the rebound. Hayden up and under. Reverse. What a play by Hayden. And here comes Blue Ridge right back up and no, rimmed out. No good. They were averaging 20 points. There was only three times that I know, two times that I noticed they didn't have over 30, 20 points. One, the game was well at hand, so you know that they didn't have their starters, and it was the fourth quarter. They had nine. The other time, they had 14 in the second quarter. But every every other time, in when it was close, they had 20 or more. It's great to hold the Holy Cross. That defense, like, they're making you play at their pace. Offense, too. Yeah, they're, they're getting back on defense in transition and not letting Blue Ridge get easy layups. A lot of changing direction when they're in air, Blue Ridge is. So they might have to do a little adjustment. We'll see how they come out in the second the first, half. The first two possessions they had, a little drive and a little jump off. So we got two easy layups out of it. Yeah. But they haven't gotten back to that yet. Mm -mm. They haven't had the opportunity. It's going to be Holy Cross ball coming out of this timeout. And if anybody's wondering, it is warm in here. <laughs> so if you're home and you're not sweating as I sit here talking, you're winning. It is warm. Now Moran. We gotta say his first name because he has a whole bunch of brothers and sisters. That's Cullen. They want to walk. That wasn't a walk. Tierney's back in the game. Little floater too. And Tierney, the senior, has eight already early in the second quarter. 15-7 Holy Cross. Is that gonna be backcourt? That is gonna be backcourt. That's right. If it was tipped, you would have seen the official showing the tip sign. And Hayden taking his time here on offense, slowing it down. Right in, dump off. Oh, they are moving that ball around that, yeah. They are moving in. There goes Carr for the three. Rimmed in and out. We're going to have Blue Ridge ball. That was very good passing around that. That top there to get that shot. He was clear. There was nobody within five feet of him, ten feet. <laughs> Here he is again. Nice dish. Got back underneath. Great block. Moran for three off the front of the iron. We're going to have another offensive foul on Matt Lyons. Now, Matt is only a sophomore, and he's 6'6. Six, six. And now he comes. Michael Hughes coming in, another sophomore. So the problem for Holy Cross here, look at their bench. They are 10, 10 11 on the bench, and they can go 10, 11 on the bench. They have a lot of talent. The sophomore class is very talented. Blue Ridge with a little dump, fumbles it, spin move, great defense, gets it out on the block, Gabe straight up, nice cut. Here's 
Here's a three for Moran off the front of the rim. Rebound Blue Ridge. Now they're starting to get heated up here. They're starting to move. 15-9. Another great cut. We're going to have it in one. Yeah, the help came way too late on that one. I actually wish we had more cameras because I would have it specifically on the Blue Ridge coach because he is excruciatingly animated and fun to watch. Three, good! Michael Hughes comes into the game and drops a three. Sean, has he played a lot of minutes so far for varsity? Yeah, he was starting varsity. This is the first game he hasn't started for varsity, actually. So that goes to show you that talent on the on the sophomore level here. Excellent talent. Oh, just out of the reach. Holy Cross still in a man. Defense here. You see Blue Ridge trying for some screen and rolls, a little bit of backdoor cuts. That's what they look like they're doing. This, this cut. Yeah. They're trying to get underneath. If you see, they're trying to do some backdoor screens. There's the animation. There's the animation we're talking about. Yeah, he's funny. He, he is fun to watch. So I missed what happened there. What happened? I think they called uh, three seconds or five seconds. Five seconds for the ball handle. And here's Hughes again. Oh, just off the back of the rim. They're trying to double team Gabe when he's posting up down on that block. They're playing a zone. That, was a, that would have been a tough pass to make. He had three guys to go through. That's exactly what Coach Blaze is telling him. Don't force the ball. Be patient. You don't need to force anything. Caden Carr coming in for Colin Moran. Colin is a junior. Ozzy, Axon, oh, nice look. And Coach Calais is really upset for that defensive lapse. Oh, there's Tierney again. Timeout, Holy Cross. Tierney with 10 already, 359 left first half, 20 to 13, the Crusaders are up. In their two losses, they had two really tough losses against Valley View and Redeemer. So when I did my preseason show, I had them going 19 and three. So they only could lose one more to make me not a liar. Yeah, yeah I mean, that Valley View game was their, their first game of the season, and it was Valley View's, I think, third or fourth. So they, they were already, like, you know, in season, getting going, and Holy Cross, again, that was their first game. I don't want to say they weren't ready, but... It was, the, it was their first game. Opening night was December 2nd, and they didn't play till December 8th. Yeah, they, they usually, the they, yeah. But they had Mountain View being played. I mean, they usually play Mountain View in the beginning of the season, but Mountain View is their crossover this year during the regular season, so they scrapped that game, found another one. There's another good defensive play by Gabe. Great hands. Comes the Crusaders on top. Caden Carr with a great oh, shooter. Everybody's so worried about him that that whole lane was wide open. Yeah, Caden just ran set. right down. We're gonna have a jump ball. Oh, travel first. Travel first. Yeah, but there were two three guys sitting in the 
zone there on Gabe. That was a great floater right down that lane. Just out of the reach of a Red Raider. And now they're face guarding Hayden. Everybody else is in the zone. Face guarding Hayden Hosey. And I'm surprised they're face guarding Hayden Hosey. There goes Hughes with the left. Logan Tierney on the ground. He's calling timeout and he got it. And the technical foul on Blue Ridge. And boy, Holy Cross student section is really giving it to him. He thought that it was a jump ball. When Tierney had it in his hand, he's calling timeout. And the official saw it right there and granted the timeout. So we're going to have, off this, after this 30 second timeout, you're going to have Holy Cross shooting two and getting the ball at half court. So this could be a, a huge swing. This Holy Cross is up by nine right now. Holy Cross shooting 80% so far this season from the free throw line. It's the first. And here comes the second, good. And the lead has swelled to 11. So now they're in a, a zone, face guarding a three short. Gabe got box out. They're face guarding Gabe on that one, so it was a box and one on Gabe. There's a three for Blue Ridge. Boy, if there was a shot that needed a fall, it was that one for Blue Ridge. Here's Hayden Hosey. And another three. And there's Hayden Hosey's effect on the game. He drives, defense collapses, you got two passes. And what a steal by Michael Hughes, and we're gonna have a foul and one! A sensational sophomore. We are going to have a 30 second timeout by Blue Ridge. Yeah, that might be a good idea because now it's 16. 213 left, 29 13. So, Holy Cross defense so far in this first half has been winning out. Definitely has Blue Ridge. Not really knowing what to do on offense and on their heels. Yeah. Yeah, for a team that puts up 67, sometimes 80 points a game, they might not hit 20 before half that. Great job, girls. So yeah, Blue Ridge has tried so far. They've tried a two-three. That didn't work for them. They've tried a box and one on Hayden. That hasn't worked. And they've tried a box and one on Gabe. And that hasn't worked. So this coach might have to get a little creative. I don't think man would be a very smart choice. 
Holy Cross is just too tall, they're too physical, too fast. There's, completes the and one. He comes in, great drive. Got stuck, we're having a jump ball, it's gonna be Blue Ridge ball. Jump ball, possession, Blue Ridge. Yeah, they went right. They collapsed to that ball and really went through it. And they're right through the hands. Great defense there. And another three. Too strong. Another one. That has to be seven or eight already. show you how deep this is. They only have three starters in right now. Oh, great offensive rebound. Nice pass. Yeah, they were running before they had the ball. Here's Seamus for another one. He's feeling it. Rims in and out. Rebound Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge back in transition, and we're gonna have a travel. I love the reactions of the kids. Yeah, it's great. Travel, they never travel. You're yeah, right. Wrong. The rest yeah. Wrong. I didn't do that. He was surprised. <laughs> This game might be a little bit more physical than what Blue Ridge is used to. I'm not sure. Great jump stop. Ah, I should have shot it. Sheamus is two feet away from the rim. He's got to shoot that. I think Blue Ridge is a little rattled from the intensity of, de of this defense. And a travel on the Crusaders. But if you notice there, the one thing that a lot, a lot of people might not have noticed, did you see Tierney? There was a mismatch. Blue Ridge had big, their big guy number 20 was on, I believe it was Michael Hughes at the top of the key. And Logan being the senior and smart that he is, immediately moved him off there so that he, the, Blue Ridge didn't get a chance to drive. We're gonna have a foul. 2.5 seconds left. Blue Ridge has been attacking the lane pretty consistently. The points are the points are showing for it, but that kind of seems to be what the game plan is right now. Come right down the middle. Gets the first. 33 16, two and a half left. And you're right, they're not going to score their. Unless, unless there's some crazy play. They're not going to get to 20 in the half. Second one's up and in and out. And, oh, good try, good shot. Good try. That two and a half seconds seemed like an eternity there. 33-16, Holy Cross up by 15. We are at halftime and we will be back.
Right, on mute. Okay, a little halftime stats for you tonight. Seamus Sullivan hit that three. Aiden Hosey has four. Caden Carr has five. Michael Hughes has nine already. Cullen Moran has two, and Logan Tierney has ten. That gives you the 33. For, let me get you Blue Ridge right now. Gallagher has two. Connor Cranage has two, four, five. Bradley has two. Scott has four. And if I can read that, Barber has two. And that gives you your 16. So far, Holy Cross defense has been spectacular. Yep. Holding Blue Ridge well under their average of 40 points a half in the first half. Yep. So they're also too, 24 points low. Holy Cross is getting a lot of offensive rebounds again. Uh, second, second opportunity, more opportunity, second chances. Second chance shots. I call them garbage points. Mm. They're my favorite. Yeah. And here we go, Cullen Moran, Hayden Hosey, Logan Tierney, Caden Carr, and Gabe Gonzalez are your, your second half starters. Holy Cross moving the ball around down in the corner, kicks it back to the top of the key, drives down to the lane, kicks it out. Tierney brings it back up to the corner, the top of the key. Gabe Gonzalez from the free throw line, short rebound Blue Ridge. Great pass to the block. A little bit of fight, and then oh, Blue Ridge wants fouls, and you get that one. They wanted fouls on the first shot, now they got it on the second. That would have been a spectacular pass to that block there if he completed it. Holy Cross getting in the way there. Then we had a little scrum on the floor. Two shots for Khan. First one in and out. How'd that come out? We're like halfway down. Second shot. Green it short on that one. Rebound Blue Ridge blocked by Gabe. Here's what I'm talking about. Look at Gabe bringing the ball down the floor as they're big. Cross. Yeah, they had the best like, opportunity, but squandered and threw it back out. Good job, Blue Ridge came back on defense there. Moran, nice give and go, left hand. That was a beautiful give and go. Oh, and another block. Gonzalez swatting that out of the sky. Tierney, Tierney, top of the key. And there's Carr, too strong. Gave the other one. I think they ran into each other. And here's a three off the back of the iron. Rebound, Caden Carr. Caden Carr bringing it up. There's Mo Moran. Moran out to Hosey. Hosey brings it in. That was a great pass. Yeah, Holy Cross is really hitting the boards tonight. He lost handle on the dribble, so he's allowed to do that. Gabe, over to Carr, and foul, two. Nice job by Gabe there, making the extra pass. Yeah, they're really, really passing that ball well. This second team first, two. Now they're up by 21. 37-16. First one's good. Blue Ridge is doing the same thing. They're driving and getting that dump off, but the difference is Holy Cross is there on defense, get the blocks. And the rebounds when the misses. Second one's good. And the hot free throw shooting continues for Holy Cross. Blue Ridge, top of that key, dumps it down to the block, tries to get around. Up, and we're gonna have another foul. Two shots. Uh, 
And I think if I remember, Connor is averaging about 16 points a game. They have four players that are averaging double figures in their first three games. And Holy Cross has held them to 17. They're playing suffocating defense. Get some both. Sub for Blue Ridge. Taking the game for Blue Ridge number 33, James Barber. And now Blue Ridge is providing some pressure here, trying to turn the tide here a little bit and get get the scoring in their favor. And there's a dish and Moran for three. That's a beautiful pass. That's a deep three. Oh, 22 feet. Holy Cross still bringing it down. Here's the Hayden Hosey effect. He's a senior, correct? Yes. So they got three seniors. Oh, there's Gabe. There's another three, good. That was a tough shot. Very tough shot to bring it within 20, 44, 24. 448, third quarter. The Blue Ridge can get hot here. They can, they can start bridging that gap, but they gotta do it soon. They're, they're getting these shots off quick too. They're not holding it, they're not, they're not passing around. They're just, they're launching these shots and they're going in right now. with that timeout. It was a full timeout, 60 second timeout. So we're coming out of the Holy Cross ball. It looks like Blue Ridge is gonna be pressing. They're gonna have two guys in that back court, three guys back. The ball goes down. It's an in Moran right down the floor. Tierney in the corner, brings it back out, top of the key. Posey to Moran, Moran's a junior. Gabe Gonzalez from way downtown. Gabe's what, 6'3"? Here's more defense for you. If you like defense, you're seeing it here on Holy Cross. There, that's a tough shot. And there's the Holy Cross student section getting on Blue Ridge. Oh, that was a ill-timed pass right there. Good defense by Blue Ridge. And another three. Wow. Quick shot. Tierney for three. Oh, two. Long two, not a three, long two. Jake Gallagher's starting to get a little hot, and there he's shooting again. And he's get. they're starting to get really hot. Now a 19 point lead, 49 30. They've scored 14 points in this quarter already, and it's 322 left. So they're starting to play their style game. Here. Well, they're definitely not in a hurry. Up 19 points, three minutes left, third quarter. They're going to want to slow this down, especially yeah, Gabe. Wow, nice shot. And another three. 
Long Gonzalez, and we're gonna have an over the back going down the other way. So you see the new the philosophy now from Blue Ridge. They're getting up and down this floor quick and getting off quick shots. And they hit their last three three pointers now before they missed that one. Blue Ridge summoned in. Did they just do a five? I think they did. They pulled all five. Holy Cross had Michael Hughes coming in. There goes Hosey to Tierney. Tierney up and in. Two more. Yeah, they got there down there quick. No, the only the only starter is number three. They're three point shooters. He hit two out of those three. Holy Cross winning. Tierney deep, all rimmed out. He was deep in that lane. Nice move. Short on the shot. Here they come again. Here comes. Nice move by Hughes to avoid the offensive and get the two. Nice drive, kick. It's going to be out of bounds. Blue Ridge ball. Rick Cassiano enters the game for Hayden Hosey. And Matt Lyons is going to come in for Logan Tierney. And Blue Ridge puts their five starter, four starters back in the game. Now Holy Cross defense is making them slow down a little bit. When they don't get in transition, they got to get into that half court offense and it really slows them down. Nice move by Connor. Got his own rebound in one. Connor Cranage with two. Shooting the end one. First, it's up and off the front of the rim. And another rebound for Gabe. He has to have 10 already. We're going to be shooting a three. Oh, correction two. Yeah, they, re they corrected it. Official said two. It's a deep two. And there's your super sophomore right there, Michael Hughes. Yep. Stuck in the corner and they get it out. Drives right to the lane and we're gonna have no shot. It's gonna be on the floor. 101 left. Third quarter, 57 to 32. The Holy Cross is swelled the lead to 25. We got a sub coming in. Connor Razumovic, a junior, is in. Nope, sorry, he's a senior. Gabe Gonzalez, look at the defense by Gabe. Nice move. Too strong. Connor Razumovic with the rebound. Nice kick. Nick, oh, way strong. So I was talking, I was actually talking to Michael Hughes' father at halftime, speaking about what hustle, what hustle. Speaking about, you said that he had started the first three games. His dad thought that he was a little nervous those first three games. I didn't see any nerves whatsoever. It looked like he played really well. His dad was happy with the way he's, he played tonight, coming off the bench. He's not sure if it was practice or coming off the bench or what it was, but boy, whatever Coach Calais did really work tonight. Nice pass. They're gonna have M1. 13.9, and they don't have any in this game. Uh,
So there's another Moran brother. I believe he's a sophomore. Too strong off the back of the rim. Second. Blue Ridge went us up. And there were three person out. Second one's up and in and out. Yeah, they didn't box out at all. And a three. Gallagher again for another three. That has to be four of them already. Mario for three. Got it to go. At the buzzer, 60 to 35. Another super sophomore. Good job, ladies. Starting the fourth quarter, 60 to 35. Just for everybody's knowledge, first rule is 30 at any time in the second half. Blue Ridge ball. Thank you, And we start the fourth quarter. Holy Cross up 25. Nice little dump. A little mismatch right there for Blue Ridge. Didn't get it to go. Gabe with a drive in kick, and here's the ball move. Great ball. Oh, look at that. Tierney just snuck the back door and got an easy two. If there's an officer here, that would be theft. Three in and out. Oh, Hayes, Aiden Hosey. Nope. Aiden Hosey would drive down the lane. We're gonna get two. This is the most points they've scored this season so far. Yep. And probably their best defensive performance except for Pittston area. Pittston area had 34, 35 points, so great defensive performance here so far. Here's another three. Even though Gallagher missed it, he's having a spectacular game tonight. He probably has 12 or 15 points already. Tierney again, bought an eight footer. Yeah, he was in that block. He could have went up for a tough layup, but decided to give it up. Very unselfish play. A little bit. He tried the up and under. And there's now we're in running clock. Holy Cross up 33. Another shot, tough off the glass. Gabe Gonzalez on, on the floor. And two points for Connor Cranage. Aiden. That was a great drive. Now we're just going to go over another one coast to coast. Aiden Clark, timeout, Blue Ridge. 
Holy Cross is 72 tonight. You can tell uh, a couple of the Blue Ridge boys over there slamming the, mm -hmm. the bleachers. They're frustrated. Right before that time out, they had a substitution. They're going to bring four in, four new players in. Definitely Holy Cross's best overall performance, if you ask me. Not many turnovers. Really effective on the glass tonight with both offensive and defensive rebounds and not giving up offensive rebounds. Um, not many second chance points for Blue Ridge. Unfortunately, I didn't see their first three games, so I don't know how they, they scored their points, but. You can tell that they're, they, I don't think they've seen a defense like this. Yeah. But Blue Ridge is still going to be a force in their division, Division 4. Oh, now I'm drinking my water, not paying attention. Blue Ridge had a turnover there. Gets it in down low, Gabe. Mario. Mario, I'm sorry. All five starters are out for Holy Cross. They have a whole fresh new. That was Mario for two with a great three short. And we're going to have a push underneath. Holy Cross ball. Five ten left, fourth quarter. This first team and in the JV game tonight, they scored 50, 50 or 60. Was it 58 or 60? Yeah, they won by 30, 42. So. so this team is not lacking talent no, no. at any level. Mario with another drive. <laughs> Matt Lyons with the putback. Matt actually had, he could have had a dunk in the JV game, but he lost control of the ball going up. Look at the defense by Holy Cross even from these sophomores. Seamus is a senior, and Moran is a sophomore. Lyons a sophomore. Cross up 35. Matt Lyons, beautiful footwork. Got his own rebound, missed that one too. Great footwork, just got to finish that shot. And the three drilled it. Next game for Holy Cross is Thursday. Are they home, Sean? Yeah, they are home. Um, Who do they got? The girls play Thursday at Abington in a three for Lions. That's off. Mario with the rebound, loses the handle, falls on the floor, and we have a jump ball. It's gonna be Holy Cross ball. The girls are up at Abington Thursday night. JV's tips at 5.30. The varsity is at 6.45, I believe. So we'll post on Facebook what game we're going to broadcast. Seamus gets it down into the corner. Forest City is Thursday. Forest City, that's right. And here comes Hughes! No, that's his third three tonight. He definitely looks really calm out there right now, and we're gonna have a foul. No shot. I don't know. It looked like holy Blue Ridge's coach is talking to. One of Holy Cross's players, though. that was weird.
number 31, Gary Gilbert in the game for Holy Cross. Number 25, Josh Lutowski. Number 5, Conrad Lovich. Number 1, Austin Bingham. Number 2, Mikhail Scott. And number 10, Charlie O'Malley. Charlie O'Malley enters the game, Nick Calciano. Connor Asimovich and Austin, is that Austin? Yep. Austin Bicking all enter the game. And if Holy Cross hangs on here, they will be three and two on the season. And another foul, we're gonna have two shots. Lurids will be shooting the rest of the way. First one's up and good. And it looks like these are all AV players for Blue Ridge. Second one's up, no good. Oh, nice defense. Oh, and a missed layup, too bad. That was great defense by Blue Ridge there. It was just as smart for Charlie not to foul. You don't foul on that when you're up that much. Austin Bicking with her two. And Holy Cross is 81. A little bit. 81 to 43. And we're shooting one and one. Holy Cross number 25, Josh Lukowski, a second team seven. You're gonna do this next time. Gary Goodwin shooting one and one. <laughs> so one and one. First one's up and gets the roll. Good shot. So the clock stops for free throws, timeouts. End of quarters and injuries. Second one's up and short. Rebound, Charlie O'Malley. To the left wing, back up top, Connor. To the wing for Nick, down in the corner. Back up top, three for Connor, in and out. Connor is an excellent baseball player. And we're gonna have a foul and one. And Connor can hit the ball. It was part of the district champion team this year. And one is good. Austin bringing the ball up. Final 40 seconds of the game. And a bad pass there. But you can forgive those when you're up by 34. But they'll see that on film, see what they did wrong. Correct that. This is good to get these guys in here for future seasons. Here we go, they're gonna dribble out the last three seconds. Great game by Holy Cross here. I would think the defense, the defense was the difference here tonight, John, because Blue Ridge, we saw at the beginning of the game, they slowed it down a little bit. They tried to get in the transition and couldn't do it. Holy Cross always had somebody back, always defending the ball, and always making sure that that Blue Ridge had a tough time getting into that transition. So it was interesting to see how everything, like you said before, flip-flopped for them. Yeah, Holy Cross kept their average a little bit above their average. I think they averaged giving up 44 points a game. They gave up 47. Yep. But Holy Cross just dominant on both ends of the floor on the glass and on de defensively. So great performance tonight by Holy Cross. Good win, yep. Great win.
They're three and two. We will see you Thursday night either with the girls up at Abington or with the boys here at home against Forest City. Good night, everybody.